Welcome back to Hope and Heals. I'm here with Jess the Mess and Debbie Deb. Jaisal will be coming to us also on her end of the world, <laughs> but she's right along with us, aligned with purpose. Um, we are wrapping up April in honor of National Poetry Month. Mm -hmm. Do you like poetry? I do. Yeah, I do. I do. It's super, um, just, it goes into your soul. Your mind really does take it in, right mm -hmm. into account. And beautiful words and beautiful pictures come alive in your heart. And I think that that's what God really means when he wrote books like Song of Solomon, um, Proverbs, the Psalms. You're going to see some of those scriptures in our work. We are going to showcase a few pieces called visual poetry. So each of us will be touching on our pieces and you'll yes. get to know a little bit more about what we did and why. Show it off just a little bit longer. <laughs> no. And she said, no. Okay. So that's hers. Here's mine. You'll get to know it in just a little bit. And this one's mine. Stay tuned. Watch more. Bye. Bye. Hi, guys. It's your girl, Just a Mess with Hope and Heels. And this week, we are sharing our poetry, our Bible verse poetry, in honor of Poetry Month. And the month is almost ending. So we went and got creative with our Bible verses. And the Bible verse that I'm going to share with you guys is Luke 10, 19. And it says, listen, I have given you power to walk on snakes and scorpions, power that is greater than, than the enemy has. So nothing will hurt you. Power. We were given power, right? The snake and the scorpion represent evil, represent darkness, right? So here is my creative artwork that I came up with for Luke 10, 19. So it says we have been given power, right? Power to walk on snakes and scorpions. So if you can see, look at my feet, right? Luke 10, 19, there's the feet and they are stomping on the scorpions, the spiders, the negativity, anything that tries to come against us, right? That's just the way it is in the real world too. Things try to come against us, which are evil attacks. And we say, oh, the, the evil spirit, the enemy spirit, the serpent, right? So God is giving us, God has given us the power to step on every lie on every attack that comes against us you have the power i've been given the power it's just about believing in that power and walking it out right so this was what i came up with and for 49.99 you can get this <laughs> just kidding and if you see the scorpion here look at the scorpion and i put a little chunk all right because we're gonna stomp on that scorpion and the bible verses in the back so there's my snakes. I even put some real grass in here. There's your spiders. We're stomping on snakes. And that's how we have to walk it out in real life, right? Whenever an attack comes, whenever you feel that it's an enemy attack, the spider is attacking, the serpents at your ear, we have to walk in the power. We have to stomp on it and say, no, not today, Satan. No, not today, Scorpion. You are not going to attack me. You are not going to attack my life. You are not going to attack my home. And that's why I picked this Bible verse, right? Because in my home, I have a lot of kids and there's always chaos and there's always enemy attacks. And I can have a peaceful day. I can walk in peace. I can walk in love. I can walk in truth. And nothing is coming against me. But boom, one child gets hit. Boom, the other child gets hit. Boom, the other child. So it's like all these attacks in my home, right? And there's times where I just want to be like, and get out of here and not deal with it and let them deal with it themselves. But no, I have the power. God has given me the tools to stomp on the enemy, to stomp on the lies and not let him attack my home. If I allow him to attack my home and just come in and do whatever and let all these snakes and all these serpents in my home, it's going to look wild and crazy up in there. So no, I remember I have to use my power. I have to step on the enemy and use the authority that I've been given. So this was very, this was very fun to do. It was also, it also helps you. Like it helps your mental. It helps get their creative juices going. I picked the Bible verse and out of this Bible verse, you know, I just did a few little things here. So there's the serpent. 
there's your snakes and we're walking on that. So if you have anything that's attacking your home, attacking your mind, go to Luke 10, 19 and use your power, use the authority that God has given you and walk it out, stomp on them. Don't let those snakes come in and bite you and try to stomp on you. No, not today, Satan. We're going to stomp on you. We're going to walk all over you. So pick a Bible verse. I challenge you. This was very soothing. This was very, you know, just calm, peaceful. And it was fun also. It was very fun to do, you know, with my sisters. We got together and we did this. And I recommend that you do the same. Pick a Bible verse. Any Bible verse, your favorite Bible verse. Get a blank canvas. Bust out the markers. Get creative. And then you would be, you have a masterpiece. Something that you can put in your home. Like now I can put this by my bedside. Now I can remember when the snakes and the scorpions and everything's attacking like, or not today, stomp on them. Remember that. So I hope you enjoy. I hope, you know, you get some ideas, you know, simple. When we didn't buy nothing, we've had tools laying around our house, colors and markers. So grab your colors, your markers and your Bible verses and join us. Let's see what you come up with for your poetry Bible verse. Talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Just the mess with Hope and Hills. Hi, it's Debbie Deb here from Hope and Hills. And for my visual poetry artwork that I did or I created um, was based on this verse uh, from Psalms uh, 139 verses 1 through 6. Um, it says, Oh, Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. You know when I sit down or stand up. You know my thoughts even when I'm far away. You see me when I travel and when I rest at home. You know everything I do. You know when I am going to say, even before I say it. You go before me and follow me. You place your hand of blessings on my head. Such knowledge is too wonderful, wonderful for me, too great for me to understand. And the reason I picked this verse is because I feel the love from Christ, from God, knowing that he loves me and that he pour so many blessings upon me. So this is my visual artwork here. So I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little closer. I have the micros, not the microscope, the, I forgot what this is called, a magnifying glass. So what this is, is he, it's emphasizing that he examines us. He looks over us, right? And then I put uh, a bunch of hearts because he is my love. I put some flowers. And just to kind of give a more visual of what he, how he loves us and what he does for us. So here I put my love and then he is my world because he is everything. Without him, I'm nothing. So because of him, he blesses me. He loves me. He knows who I am. He created me. He knows all the hairs on my head. I have everything. So this is the reason why I picked it. He knows our thoughts and that's what I love because he knows what we're going to say before we could even speak it. So this is my little piece. I hope you like it. It's cute. I know. Um, I like it. So um, that is it for now. And I hope that you can do something like this. This was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, it brought the artistic person in me and in my sisters. So I really thought it was such a good idea to do just because you dig into scripture and you express what that scripture means to you. So we'll see you soon. This is Debbie Deb. Say bye. Hi guys, Loops here. So my take on visual poetry is based on Isaiah 52 and it's on verses one and two. So I'm gonna read from scripture and then I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. I will show you <laughs> visually. So it says Isaiah 52, right? Wake up, wake up, O Zion. Clothe yourself with strength. Put on your beautiful clothes, O holy city of Jerusalem, for unclean and godless people will enter your gates no longer. Rise from the dust, O Jerusalem. Sit in a place of honor. Remove the chains of slavery from your neck, O captive daughter of Zion. This is beautiful to me, and I know that it's poetic in that God is saying for us to wake up, wake up. No one has you down. You have full power. You have enough power through Christ 
to rip off those chains on your neck. Nobody has you tied down. I went to the uh, the dollar store the other day and I swear I saw somebody captive and I was like, no, wake up, wake up. This is my piece of artwork right here. It's my visual poetry. It is a work in progress because Loops is not that creative, <laughs> but I do have it in my mind. So this is a crown that God's saying, right? Clothe yourself in strength in splendor and i love the the dress that i made here because it's floral and it's very feminine but it's also regal and it's a way that a woman should carry herself right with power and dignity and virtue those are all good things and it's got the little googly eyes awake it's like wake up right i saw this person as a cashier and i was like girl wake up take your power back Somebody stole it. So you've given it away to someone and God has given you all power to take those chains off your neck. Right here, power, right here. God has said, right? He has said, remove the chains of slavery from your neck. When you hold a, a, a captive, a slave captive, they take you by the neck. They take you by the hands. They take you by the feet. But through Christ, we are free. We are in total power and God doesn't say pray to me and I'll do it for you no he says you do it I've given you all of my son all of his glory and all of his thunder right all of his power so you rip those chains off there's nothing else to do so this is what this person here what loops what Debbie Deb what just the mess what Jay soul is doing right we're here to set captives free, but more so for ourselves. Free yourself. I love this, it's in Isaiah 52. So I hope you enjoyed this little take on visual poetry. I challenge you too, the way Debbie Deb and Just The Mess suggested, you know why? Because it really did free our minds. We were in another world, we were being creative, we were being imaginative. And I know that God has given us healing through the imagination. Imagine if I would hold myself, carry myself at all times regal and with majesty. When you walk in the room, you command a presence and you better be, right, that honoring person to command that presence. When we walk into the light, let us reveal the God that loves us. Debbie Deb said, right, she said, God loves me. I am his world. He is my love. Um, just the mess says, take your power back. Get those chunklas on. Stomp on the enemy. And she's not saying it with, you know, shyness. Like, oh, me, me, put on. No, she's like, get away. <laughs> so that is true freedom in Christ. I hope you enjoyed each of our pieces. I can't wait to see Jay Souls. It's coming up. Or maybe you've already caught it. But I know that you are blessed because of what God's sharing through these pieces of art. You're the masterpiece. Don't forget that. Talk to you soon. Bye.